Do you know how you have that amazing day and you're just like, this could not be any better. My family's happy, the kid ate all their food. Ugh. And then immediately you're like, what if I lose my job next week? Where'd that come from? <laughs> Today we're talking all about that thought and how you can get rid of it. Hey, it's Kyla Denayo and I am ready to talk to you about upper limit problems, okay? That is a lesson I learned from the book, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is success in people and business, all right? So Gay Hendricks gives an example of an upper limit problem. His daughter was calling him, I think she was in college, and she was talking about graduating and everything she was doing for school. And then immediately he was like, she's never going to get married. She's going to have a terrible adulthood. Oh my God, men are going to be scared by her success. What the heck? <laughs> Where did that come from? And we all have those kind of thoughts, those little nagging things. What are they? Why do they pop up? Gay Hendricks explains it, okay? And he's a phenomenal teacher. And he's a therapist, he's a psychologist. And it's one of the things that he likes to call upper limit problems. It's when you're having a fantastic day, everything is going smoothly, and then bam, something comes down to kind of like level out your expectations, okay? If you think about the old cartoons where you have the angel on the shoulder and the devil on the shoulder, the angel is dancing and happy and oh my God, what a great day. The devil is like, yeah, but your car is gonna get repossessed. What? <laughs> And so an upper limit problem is when you are trying to bring down some of the excitement, manage your own expectations. Things are good now, they won't always be good. Let me enjoy today, I don't know what tomorrow is. Upper limit problem. And so Gay Hendrick says, you gotta cut it. There is something you can do, you can talk to your mind. When that happens, you can just say, but that didn't happen right now, right? So for his example of his daughter graduating and then him jumping into the future, he can literally say to himself, that is not occurring right now. Right now I am happy about her success. Right now I am enjoying this. Yes. And if you keep saying things like that to yourself, that little devil on your shoulder will go away and slide away and then you will stop trying to dampen down your big moments by bringing yourself back to reality. You're allowed to be happy. You are allowed to revel in the success. You are allowed to be like, damn, today was a great day. That's allowed, okay? You don't always have to say, let me enjoy it while it lasts. I get it, but you don't have to. And actually I don't get it because I'm really an optimist. <laughs> but you don't have to. And when you see yourself doing those things, tell yourself there is no upper limit problem here. I have no problem with having, with acknowledging my success, with acknowledging how far I've come, with acknowledging the joy of this moment, period, okay? So I challenge you to start talking to yourself. When you see yourself trying to kind of curb that excitement, that enthusiasm, stop it, cut it off right then, okay? So would I reread this book? Duh. <laughs> this is part two of a three-part series because I could not say everything that I loved about this book in one video, all right? So. If you are interested in what else I enjoyed, take a look at this video here where I talk all about how I create time. See you in the next video.